Okay guys, so in my last video I showed you how I put this guy on this piece of pine wood. Uh, it's pretty easy because uh, the, the wooden uh, piece is uh, soft. So today I'm going to raise the challenge. Just I'm going to put him on this piece of uh, aluminum sheet. It's probably about 5 millimeter thick. So it's just enough to carve him on this. Uh, the thing is, uh, I just bought this from uh, the store, so I have no idea what type of aluminum it is. Hopefully it's not too hard. And uh, I have, uh, I'm just going to use the same tools as last time. Though uh, this one is a 4mm uh, flat end mill. It can, uh, it have the hardness of uh, SRC 55, so it definitely can cut this aluminum. So uh, it's not going to be about the tool. And the same thing, just I'm going to use the bow nose here, one millimeter diameter. Uh, so first of all, what I have to do is just I have to set up the mist coolant uh, here to cool down the tool when I cut aluminum because I don't want the chip to cut up like uh, well to the tools and then it's not going to cut anymore. So here's what I got from eBay, uh, seven dollars. So what I'm going to have to do is just, uh, I'm going to stick it on the side, probably around here like this, uh, somehow. Uh, and then uh, I have this just point to the uh, bit here. So I'm going to spray some uh, uh, mist to it to cool down the uh, bit and also like push out the chips, uh, aluminum chips. So I probably just use some... Um, mounting tape to tape this here this one this end is just going to go into the bucket of water like clean water and uh, this end I have to plug it to my uh, air compressor uh, here I just uh, use this strip to, to kind of like connect it to the air compressor you don't need uh, too much of um, air, like it doesn't need to be high pressure as long as it has some air flow. You're going to just pull the water up from this strip and just spray it here. So let me just try to fix this on this side. This piece of tape, uh, you say it can mount about 15 pounds, so it should be fine. Okay, it's actually very solid, so uh, I am confident that it will hold. I will just push the trip kind up. It's not easy to manu manipulate this tube. Anyway, so I just want to plug the this tube to my air compressor. Okay, let me just get a bucket of water to see if this works. Okay, when I said bucket of water, I just mean this bottle. So I just put it on the side here. Uh, hopefully, well, we don't need to see this. Just going to dump this in here. I probably should arrange the tube a little bit because it's going to run back and forth a little bit. It should be fine for this. So now, let me just turn on this. Okay, no air out. Let me check again. Turn on this. Okay, I just increase the pressure until the, I see the water coming up. Okay, as you, as you can see, I have some water coming out here. I only set the pressure around like 20 psi, so it's very low pressure. Probably this it wouldn't be enough, so I just close this one out. Okay, and uh, probably I just wipe this off. I'm just going to leave it around here to absorb all the water, just going to be sprayed out. Okay, so now I have this set up. I'm just going to try to fix this piece of uh, aluminum stock. On this, I just going to use some C clamp. 
Because uh, if I use the mounting table as I use for like the wooden piece, it might peel off because of the water just come out of this. So let me just try this to see if it works. Okay, so now I have this piece installed on this build platform. Uh, next, I just going to go on the Fusion 360 and show you all the parameters just I'm going to use for this uh, job. And uh, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to start milling from this uh, in this corner. So the tool is not going to touch this uh, 2C clamp. Okay, so here in Fusion 360, I just going to insert the mesh as I already processed last time so I open okay now the motor is done loading I just go to directly to motor and manufacture okay so first step I just gonna create the setup for it so motor to this one box point I always choose this one and uh, that's it, go to stock. Uh, this I'm going to put 4 millimeter, just the diameter of the tool, just for the tool to cut around it. And here, I don't want to leave too much because I don't want to cut like too much down. So I'm going to put 0 .0, 0 0.2. And that's it. Now go to adaptive clearing. Uh, I have to choose the tool first. And choose the 4 millimeter flat end mill like last time so disable this this time I am cutting aluminum so I just want to put very slow 400 like at least half of the rate that I use for cutting pine wood so 100 100 okay so all this parameter I'm just guessing here because it's also my first time I just want to go very slow make it safe I don't want to like break my CNC machining boundary I want to choose silhouette because I don't want to cut too much I just want to cut around it so this one I had to put like 4 millimeter just the diameter of the tool Okay, I disable this because uh, this is the per first pass. You don't have rest to machine yet. So always to remember to reduce this. Here, okay. This one is important. I want to put uh, very like small. Uh, step down because uh, even with pine wood I only go one millimeter one millimeter this one I going to go 0.1 millimeter and because it's already fine I just go also 0.1 here no need to find step down stuff to leave I'm going to put uh, not much here 0.05 and this one I usually put zero okay minimum retraction so it's go a bit faster I think that's it wow okay it look like a lot of line because it's very slow so it's going to take forever to machine this but I just want to be safe so that's what I that's why I do this and uh, as you can see just it's cut always uh, all the way down to the bottom of the motor so it's I think it's correct so next step I just going to go to create a divide operation parallel and choose the other two bonus and I also want to go very slow 400 400 
100 okay this I can change to one millimeter that's the diameter of the bow nose and I enable this but this time I going to machine the rest of the that's left from the previous operation so I just choose this okay still the same this I think last time uh, with the wood I choose this so I going to and I also maybe uh, form 4 will be smoother so I choose this oh it always change it's also change this well that's fine and I going to do shortest pass and that's it oopsie it doesn't do anything okay let's see what I do wrong what I did wrong here nothing here okay this might look wrong because everything else is very small this font 5 millimeters is quite big so I put 0 to see what it does okay that's what it now it look correct so I just want to add one more pass to make it a bit smoother so parallel and only thing I need to change here is in pass direction I'll put 90 degree 90 degree and click OK so it go this way okay seem to be correct so let's simulate this quickly okay I'm going to disable this turn on the stock okay this is the final result uh, yeah it look nice I think okay as usual I have to save this tool separately from the other two paths so I got to call it Joker aluminum 2-1 save and save these two together That's it. Let's see. Okay, so now I have the first tool put in here because this is like a plate of aluminum, so I actually don't need the piece of uh, this piece to do the tool prop. I just prop it directly on the surface. So what I'm going to do is just uh, have this clip, just clip on the tool, and the other one I just push the contact to the plate like this, and then I can do the two probe. Okay, so now I just put zero here, Z zero okay done and now I just going to lift it up and go to the corner to set the X and Y to zero okay so I got a problem here just my Y axis were blocked by the C clamp here uh, down here so I have to actually change the position of this C clamp okay now I set X and Y to 0 and prepare this so I can start to mill just going to put the towel here so you can absorb some of the water okay and I want to try to increase the pressure a little bit so it blow the, all the chips away so it make the cut cleaner
Yeah, I don't know. Somehow it's lost the staff. Let me try again. Okay, guys, so after two hours, 51 minutes, the roughing pass is done. It's not really like smooth. Like sometimes I feel like the machine is really at the edge of uh, breaking because it's kind of really shaky. Uh, but uh, in the end, it's kind of cutting okay. Like it's kind of have the shape here, roughing shape. So now I just want to do the finishing pass and see if it works. Okay, after another 1 hour and 20 minutes, the finishing pass is done. Well, let me just show you a bit closer to see what it looked like. Okay guys, so here's the results after 1 hour and 20 minutes of the uh, finishing pass. Uh, you can see just it's, because it's aluminum, you can see a lot of lines from the tool pass. Uh, but uh, in overall, it has like, quite some details and from the touch of my finger, it's okay, it's not that rough. Uh, but uh, one thing I can say, just the machine is really at its limit when cutting uh, this. Even though I went like really slow, uh, the machine still like kind of like very shaky and sometimes it have some type of like jerking motion, just I uh, feel like it's almost lost the step. So, yeah, if you want to cut nicer, you might need to be more patient and um, spend more time to adjusting, um, to adjust everything. Uh, but it's doable. So, good luck.